For this project, I chose a watercolor painting titled Hey Girlfriend by Bev Joswick. Bev Joswick lives in Vancouver, Washington, and a lot of her artwork is sold at the Cole Art Gallery and Studio in downtown Edmonds. Bev is a very accomplished artist, and a lot of her paintings have ended up on the covers of multiple art magazines. One of these magazines was Watercolor Artist National Magazine, and she had one of her paintings um, on their cover in 2017. The focus of this painting is on the little girl talking to the seagull in what appears to be right on the shore of either a lake or maybe an ocean. One of the things that makes it very clear what our focus is in the painting is the stark contrast between the very light area slightly textured but blank background and the more vibrant and intense and detailed foreground foreground another really important thing to notice about this painting is the variety in the lines used so in the foreground specifically on the girl and the seagull the lines are a lot thinner, a lot sharper, and it appears to be more detailed. This makes the girl and the seagull jump out at the viewer, and that's what we want to look at. However, if you're looking at the lines um, in the background, you know, they're very faint and they're softer. Uh, some of the lines in the midground um, are more so like implied <laughs> lines. There's no objects but it's mixed textures and that's a lot of what you'll see in watercolor paintings. Lines aren't used just to tell us what to focus on but lines are also directional cues so when we look at this close-up of the girl's hands and feet and the bird's feet they're they're pointing in different directions they're creating different lines across the painting. The girl's hands and feet are pointing us towards the seagull. This cues us in that the girl isn't interested in us, the audience. Her sole focus is on that bird. However, when looking at the position of, of the bird and the lines in the figure of the bird, we see that his feet are pointing directly at us. So we feel a slight connection, a slight in into the painting. Uh, through that bird. In addition to the positioning of the feet and the lines created across the painting there, we also uh, get a lot out of the facial expressions of the bird. So we see that his head is slightly turned so it looks like one of his eyes is directed at the girl and he is engaging with her. But then his other eye seems to be looking straight at us, the viewer. This is what really grabs the audience and pulls them into the painting and makes us feel like we're a part of this situation. Um, what I found most interesting about analyzing and looking at a watercolor painting is that with watercolor you can't get exact details and really fine brush strokes. They're typically a lot more vague open-ended strokes and colors are all bleeding together. So the fact that Bev was able to um, make the viewer believe that they're seeing details I think is really interesting and it also, um, as the audience, we look at this painting and we see a whole and complete scene when in reality we're really only seeing the girl and the bird. We don't see the water beyond, but we know that there's water going out. We don't see every single grain of sand, but we know that the girl and the seagull are standing on the beach. Thank you so much for listening to my artwork research presentation, and have a good one!